I'm from the southeastern part of the state, close to the Ohio River. I represent District 18, and I've had the privilege of serving as chairman of the Illinois Soybean Association this past year. And I want to take this opportunity to welcome each of you to the 2014 Soybean College. This is the third year that the ISA has sponsored the Soybean College, put together by our friends at the Farm Journal. The purpose of today's Soybean College is to introduce you to new ideas, something that you can take home and apply to your farms to benefit your profitability. After all, Illinois is the number one soybean producing state in the nation this past year. This year's theme is train like a hundred bushel yielder. The agenda is packed full of practical take home production knowledge that are offered in both a classroom style general sessions and the breakout sessions in the field. Enjoy the day and I'm sure each of you will take home some new ideas. I've asked Pam if I have just a few extra minutes to speak about something that I have a a, a passion for. And she's given me the okay to do that as long as I can do it in less than five minutes. So here goes. I want to talk to you about something that I have a, a sincere passion for and that's membership. There are 45,000 plus farmers, soybean producers, in the state of Illinois. Yet we only have 2,000 members for the Illinois soybean growers. Less than 5%. And this from the number one soybean producing state in the country. I was shocked and a little bit disappointed by that fact. Most farmers have heard about the ISA, but they don't know much about what we do. They don't know what the IS does. They don't know how it operates. They don't know why we do what we do. And they don't know how it benefits them and their farming operations. I'm going to give you a very short, sweet, and to-the-point explanation of the ISA. The ISA is an umbrella organization over two separate and distinct boards in areas such as market development, research, education, programs like what we're at today, and communication efforts. The second, the ISG the Illinois Soybean Growers Board. That board advocates for you, Illinois soybean farmers, in the areas of legislative and regulatory issues, an area that I think that each of us know and understand how important it is to our freedom to operate, and ultimately, our profitability. <clears throat> I'm proud of the fact that Illinois is the number one soybean producing state in this country. I make that statement often, but I found that I have to be a little bit careful in evaluating my audience because when I'm talking to a crowd of farmers who happen to be, some of them from Iowa, I seem to touch a nerve. They usually take that number one position. We have it this year and we hope we can keep it. I'm a fourth generation Illinois soybean farmer and I'm proud of that fact also. I'm, I'm proud that I am one of many Illinois soybean farmers that helped contribute to the fact that we are number one soybean producing state in the nation. I'm proud of that fact. I'm proud <coughs> that I helped produce the food, the fiber, the feed, and the fuel for myself and my family, for my friends, my neighbors, the people in this state and this great nation. I'm also proud that I helped feed the hungry and starving men, women, and children around the globe. I'm proud of what we do. I'm proud of how we do it. I'm proud of our accomplishments, and I look forward to the improvement in the future. In short, I'm proud to be an Illinois soybean grower. I feel that everyone in this room should be an Illinois Soybean Grower member. Each one of us have a very strong vested interest in a strong and viable and growing healthy agricultural industry. 
each of us should be a member. But I also know that most of us aren't. And I don't know why. I don't understand that. But I, knew, I do know there should be more members than what we have. Numbers count. They count in the price of bushel of corn. They count in the speed limit. They count in our weight. They make a difference. We need to increase our numbers in Illinois. 5% is just not acceptable. Particularly for the number one soybean producing state in the country. Today your membership would cost you about $145. And that's for three years. Less than $50 a year. And what do you get for that? We get the benefits of all of our research, our market development, our educational efforts such as one today, and our communication efforts. And most importantly, you can stand tall and say, I am an Illinois soybean grower, and I'm proud of that fact. An area that may become more important in the future is our efforts on advocacy in the area of legislative and regulatory issues. We all know the importance of those. They're not going away. They're going to get worse. Strictly from a business standpoint, with a $145 investment, you can double your money in less than a month. You get $100 worth of soy diesel coupons. You get a treatment, a coupon for treating 100 units of soybeans. They say it's worth $200, $100, $200, $300. You doubled your money. That's not the reason that we want you to be a member. Much more than that. But strictly from a business standpoint, why not? Why not? We have a table set over in the other building. We have information on the Illinois Soybean Association. We have membership applications. Pick up the information, read it, pick up the application, sign up today. Write a check, use a credit card, do it soon. And when you get down to the bottom of that application that asks for a recruiter, put my name. I want to know if what I'm doing does any good. Well, I'm wasting your time and my breath standing up here. I may need to adjust it, make some differences, do what you need, let me know. Throughout the day I'll be here. If you want to talk to me about membership, I welcome the opportunity. There's a lot of people who have questions about the checkoff and how membership and checkoff tie together. I'd be happy to explain that in more detail. So with that, I thank you.